All right. Our lecture today is about technology and politics. First, let's start with the meaning of politics. What does politics mean? I know that many people identify politics with government, with what politicians do, what President Bush does, right? But no, politics is broader than that. Politics doesn't equal government. Here, politics refer to such things as power, membership, authority, order, and freedom. And when we talk about how a technology can be political, we are not necessarily talking about how United States or China or Korea uses technology. But we are asking how does particular technology change power relationship in society? What kind of authority is associated with a particular technology? Do particular technologies exclude certain group of people? So it is about membership. Are there technologies that maintain orders? Are there technologies that limit or enhance our freedom? So we were asking, we are asking such questions. In, in the question, and the real question is, can technological artifacts have politics? Do artifacts have politics? So even if, even with above definition, uh, most of you would probably say that a technology has politics depending on how it is used, right? A technology doesn't really give any authority to someone nor take away someone's freedom unless it is used in such way. That is, well, only partially correct. Yes, it is not gun that kills people. It is people kill people, right? But isn't it more difficult to kill with a pencil if compared to with a gun? There is a different characteristic between the two, right? So I would say that we here we have we will learn that technology has politics even before it is used. Some of you might not believe that, but I will prove it, okay? I'll give you an example. Let's imagine this, that I built a, a system, a machine, which is connected to the computer. This is computer-controlled machine. Well, that's kind of old, old uh, uh, computer that I, in the picture. But see, mine, mine is gonna be really, really sophisticated, and it is hooked to a bomb, a huge bomb that could destroy the earth. So it has only two operating system. First, that it the bomb is so humongously powerful that it can destroy, destroy everything in the planet. Second, I have, I have programmed it in a way that uh, with certain instruction that if the rest of the world doesn't do what I say, then uh, it will denotate the bomb. So I have designed it in, in such a way that once it is constructed, it cannot be stopped, it cannot be modified, it cannot be opened. Would, would you agree that no matter how this technological artifact is used, it is a political technology? It is not a question how this is used. 
since, since it can only use in one way. So does technology, this technology change the power structure? Yes, it does. Does it give authority to anyone? Yes, to me. What kind of membership does it have? Well, it is a club of me, me, me person, right? Only me, one person. No one else can share my power or access to technology. So this example show that political character characteristics can be built into technology. You will you you have noticed that in uh, the system that I made, we see that the um, the 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 artifacts embodies a political situation. We cannot argue that this technology is only political in how it is used. We have to agree that the technology is a reflection of a political situation that I want. I'm thinking of a power structure in my head and I, I design technology that reflects my intention. The politics are built into the design of the artifacts. The technology is political. <laughs>